This is part two of Our Planet, The One Place We All Call Home by Matt Wyman and Richard Jones. Our Jungles Home to a staggering range of species, many still undiscovered, jungles are among the oldest and most diverse ecosystems on Earth. They are precious spaces that play a vital role in the health of our planet, and yet their future is far from safe. In the picture we can see a lowland gorilla cub takes a ride in the Congo jungle in Africa. Giant jungle. The largest jungle on earth can be found in South America's Amazon basin. This vast natural kingdom is 10 times the size of France and home to one tenth of the world's animal species. All about our jungles. Jungles are forests where it is warm all the time and rains almost every day. They are found on or near the equator, which is an imaginary line around the middle of the planet and stretch from the Amazon in South America to the Congo in Africa and across the Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. Jungles are lush green habitats where the constant warmth and wetness mean nature is incredibly active. Jungles support life at all levels, from within the soil to the uppermost tree branches. Each jungle, or even small corner of a jungle, can contain a unique cast of species found nowhere else on earth. Many jungle plants and animals have developed particular relationships that mean they depend on each other for their survival. In equatorial Africa, for instance, the western lowland gorilla is responsible for spe spreading seeds from a fruit it likes to eat. This is because the seeds survive the gorilla's digestion and are found in its dung. In South America, the Amazon's towering Brazil nut tree relies on the sharp teeth of the agouti, a jungle rodent that cracks open its pods to free the seeds. The jungle is home to all manner of strange and remarkable relationships. Leaf cutter ants carry leaves into their colonies to grow fungus on for food. Then there is the strangler fig that grows by winding round a host tree and slowly killing it. Special quality. Diversity is a special feature of jungles. This means that there is an enormous range of different species all closely reliant on each other for survival. Stories from our jungles, a home for Eden. In the swamp forests of northern Sumatra, Indonesia, an orangutan is teaching her young one how to swing between trees. Field scientists working to protect the species in this area have called the little orangutan Eden. By the time Eden turns 10 and becomes an adult, he will need to know how to survive on his own. He watches his mother closely, slowly learning about ev everything about his jungle environment. Without her, this little orangutan could not survive. It's going to take a long time for Eden to learn where to find the trees that give the best fruit, or how to use a stick to pick out insects from their hiding places. As he grows up, He'll need to map out everything in his head, which is why scientists are worried about the damaging effect of human activity on his home. Orangutans need forests to live in, but sadly, here in Sumatra, more than half of these forests have been destroyed in just a few decades. This is where the jungle is cut down for timber or to make way for roads, housing or farming, especially palm oil plantations. Palm oil is cheap to make but it comes at a high price. We lose 100 orangutans a week due to human actions, including deforestation and hunting. There is still hope for Eden and his kind, but their future rests with us. What is palm oil? It's a cheap, nutritious vegetable oil used in many food products, bread, spreads, ice cream, and also many cosmetics. Look out for it in the products you buy and use every day and choose products made with sustainable deforestation-free palm oil or ask companies to change the palm oil they buy to one grown in a way that protects rainforests. Palm oil plantations. Palm oil itself is not necessarily bad. Clearing to jungles to grow it is the problem. 
Hundreds and hundreds of hectares covered in just this one plant replaced the jungle that used to support an amazing variety of life. Orangutans' homes are destroyed and enormous numbers of other species are lost. We need to grow palm oil without chopping down more trees. In this picture we can see a young orangutan. Zombie ants. Deep inside the Amazon basin, the world's largest tropical jungle, a carpenter ant is behaving strangely. This one had been crossing the forest floor in search of fresh leaves. Now it has begun to climb a plant as if something inside it is controlling its movements. Amazingly, that is exactly what is happening. Eventually, this zombie ant will be forced to bite down on a leaf and then it will die. But that isn't the end of the story, for soon after, alien-like shoots will sprout from its head. This is a killer fungus called Ophiocordyceps. The alien shoot holds the fungus's pod of spores, which will drift to the ground and come into contact with another unsuspecting ant victim, and the cycle will begin again. Life in the jungle might seem brutal at times, but this gruesome story is part of the jungle's way of keeping itself healthy. The fungus infects the most common species, and this means that no single species population can grow too big or take over. It's one of nature's ways of keeping things balanced and protecting this incredible ecosystem. Jungle Mini Worlds Each tiny patch of jungle has its own unique world of species. If we destroy even a small area, we are destroying a strand of the intricate web of life. Over here we can see High Flyer. The Bornean Clouded Leopard is the, leopard is the biggest predator in Malaysian Borneo. As well as prowling across the forest floor, it sometimes climbs up into the tree canopy to hunt for monkeys. The Mighty Eagle over 90% of the tropical rainforest has disappeared from the Philippine Islands. What's left is the last refuge for one of the world's rarest birds of prey, with just 400 pairs remaining. The mighty Philippine eagle was once known as the monkey-eating eagle, but it will hunt everything from bats to squirrels to snakes and even deer. Tidy up time. Each male bird of paradise has a special display for attracting mates. Before the western paratea performs his dance, he spends time carefully sweeping leaves and jungle debris from a clearing. Once his stage is ready, the courting can begin. In his elaborate dance, he bows, whirls, shuffles and flashes a colourful throat patch. Protecting our jungles Jungles and other forests are the lungs of our planet. They improve the quality of the air by absorbing carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen. We cannot afford to keep cutting them down. We rely on jungles to help water the world. These green spaces help to control our climate by soaking up vast amount of water. When this evaporates back into the atmosphere, it's often carried to drier regions that need it most. There is no need to clear more jungle. With careful management, we can reuse land to produce everything we need from these regions. Shop smart. We can help by checking labels on our products to be sure they come from sources that protect our jungles and the wildlife within them, as well as local communities. Even palm oil products can be sustainable, but it's down to us to choose them. And that was Our Jungles from Our Planet the one place we all call home. And that is the end of part two.